once again, it's uh, time to build a 1030S airplane we've got. I've been working on these for over a week now, probably got 20 hours, and these were pre-built ribs that I got from Dave Cooper. It was part of my deal. Uh, when he gave me his price for the kit and asked him if I can be any discounts or specials or, or the sale coming up or whatever, he, he said no, he couldn't cut the price, but he would throw in the $400 value of pre-building these ribs, which is a, should be a great time savings. As most of y'all are aware, it took me six, six months to get them though. So it wasn't that much of a time to end. And I uh, am regretting uh, to somewhat the workmanship is kind of under par. It's going to be okay. It'll fly. And I've been doing things to mitigate any things I see, but uh, all the gussets were put on wrong. So um, they all had to be sanded down because they were, would have uh, cut into the fabric. Had many gussets that weren't glued at all. When I pulled this, of course, I think you remember, uh, none of the staples were pulled. It took me a week just to pull all the staples. Anyway, so I've been sanding on them, getting them all smooth, getting a lot of excess glue on here. And I had a few things wrong here and there. None of them was cut to length. I just got done making a little jig right here. I got them all cut to length. You have uh, this one here that's an end rib. It's gonna go on the end of the plane. It gets a piece of plywood on it right here, which I have in front of you, you can't see it. And before I put that on there, I need to put these little uh, airline nosies on, which is a little half circle job is right here. So I wanna give a shout out to uh, uh, people in Pennsylvania and Australia, Japan. And I know I got some people there in Mexico and Canada. Thanks for watching. Got some new subscribers here and there. Great to see you. I've been working with the uh, motor I've been thinking about, the, the new motor for, uh, <clears throat> since I got it, trying to figure out the, uh, the mounting of it. Because it doesn't mount exactly like it would on this wooden airplane like it does on the back of a, a metal bar airplane. Let me show you. Look right here, the, the mounting bolt for this motor on the back. The nice little rubber uh, mounts too, by the way. Six of them. They don't line up in any way, shape, or manner, though. Um, these two are four and three quarter apart. These two are three and five eighths apart. These are five and five eighths apart. And this one sits back half these two a quarter inch. Um, so, you look past right there, you'll see a piece of angle bar laying there. So I'm going to take this two inch by two inch by eighth inch steel angle. And uh, just make me a little L bracket and brace and a little offset at the top. And do something like this. A little piece on the bottom. Anyway, this is uh, this is probably eight, nine pounds, maybe I don't know. I'm gonna be using all of it too. <clears throat> I might be to put some. I might put some lightning holes in it though, like I did the shoe. So meanwhile, we got another issue. I've been looking at other Mini Max airplanes too to see what their solution is, but. You can see the drive here, this motor was designed to go on a, like a aero -like plane or one of those little kite planes, metal tube planes, upside down. And it can be turned either way, which I'm glad. It also supposedly can be used for a tractor or a pusher, which is good. Even though in a pusher configuration, I see it pushing off a nice thrust bearing on the back. All I've got is a lock ring, which that worries me. I hope there's a bearing inside that holds that. If you'll see the uh, propeller is low, and when I mount on that plane, it puts it lower than I want, it puts the propeller lower to the ground than I might want. Also, the plane came with a uh, fiberglass shroud, which I like, it looks pretty cool. But for me to incorporate it, 
I'm going to do quite a bit of modification because it was made for a Rotax 277, I believe, which sticks out much further in the front uh, and sits up probably four to six inches higher. So what I'm going to have to do is mount this as high in that motor compartment as I can, which ain't hard to do. Um, but that presents its own little problem. Of course, it'll get good cold in that. <clears throat> it'll be in the way of my vision a lot. But you had to come up enough so that this here is somewhere around mid plane. So I got it sitting on a 2 by 10 right now, which I am um, taking this about close to where I want to mount it, but I want to mount it up maybe another three quarter inch so it's not actually touching. The angle bar base at the bottom will run underneath, have some kind of a cantilever uh, prop to it. Anyway, still thinking about that. A lot to think about. This is what I'm talking about here. I'm kind of sharp looking, you know, I'd have to cut out a big area right here for the motor. A little vent hole. Of course, this is where you probably go. There's a piece that comes with it up underneath. If you look at any uh, other Mini Max video, you'll see it doesn't look too bad. But this, for this to work on this plane, Um, this is how far out the motor needs to stick, and on that it's only going to stick out two inches. And this is over six. So I don't even know if I'm going to be able to use this or not. It's just, I don't, I don't want to change the other motor configuration to fit this. Even though I'm trying to somewhat, because uh, I would like it on. Meanwhile, you know, as it goes, I want to get this figured out where this goes first, because front bulkhead has to blend into this and then from there my front triple deck I can finish this compartment here finish the wiring and all kinds of stuff so I'm gonna get this motor on here all right so I need to make these airline nose ribs I need to make 18 8 inch 12 from a quarter inch and they're an inch and three quarter radius Alright, this is going to be our little master and we're going to make a couple dozen of those. When you come back, we'll have a bunch of them cut up and we'll proceed to the next step. My wife's calling again in a week. See you later.